Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie, and today I'm doing my annual Pantone color of the year. I've done this the last, I believe, two years, if I'm not mistaken, I think. Maybe it's been three years. I don't know. I do remember the year that it was like a gray and like a yellow together and I did a look. And then I think last year was like that periwinkle shade that I just oh, obsessed with that. Still love that look. This year we have magenta. Now it's called... Viva Magenta, and it is a really vibrant magenta shade. Honestly, if I'm being, like, if I am being honest, it's not the vibe right now for me. But you know what? I know I'm going to film this a little ahead of time, but it's going to be posted for you guys um, in February, more than likely. So, perfect. Here is another Valentine's February look for you because we're going full magenta today with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette. It's been a minute since I have played with this palette and if you're not familiar with it, um, it is, it's vibrant. So we're going to go there. So I'm still going to do blush, bronzer, the whole shebang with you guys today because it's been a while since I've done just like a chit chat get ready with me. So that is the plan for today while doing Pantone Color of the Year. Um, I thought I would touch base on a few things or just, or just like check in with you guys because I feel like I just haven't in a while. I feel like every video is just kind of like bam 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 of what needs to be in that video and then it's published. So it's never like <laughs> just casual sitting down and like talking with you guys I feel like. So focusing on one look today and that is it. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of my makeup on camera with you guys today, but anything that I don't mention or that is already on my face, it's down below in the description box, like always. So you guys will have to let me know. You guys enjoy Valentine's Day? Do you enjoy this time of the year or not? I personally, I've been in a relationship for coming up on 13 years. So 13 years of a relationship. So it's like, that hasn't really been like the issue for me of being like alone on Valentine's Day, but I don't know. I just feel like even when we were together before we were married and then when we were married, like, I don't know, Valentine's Day just never did it for me. Like, I feel like it just wasn't really a holiday that I particularly liked. And the last couple of years, actually, we have started being like more I don't know, like getting more invested in the holiday, like getting each other things. Because we normally don't like throughout the year, we kind of just get whatever for ourselves. <laughs> so we do kind of usually surprise each other now. So it makes it a little bit more of like an eventful holiday. And we of course always get chocolates and you know, something, a little something for our kids um, to celebrate the day. But honestly, I don't know what it is. I'm just taking Good Morning, which is this light pink, and I'm kind of just using it on a fluffy brush to just kind of blow it out. It's really pretty. Very minimal, but pretty. It kind of matches my shirt. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's because we've been doing more with Valentine's Day the last few years or what, but it's honestly becoming a holiday that I actually really look forward to now. I think also as I get older, I'm like starting to realize like the more low maintenance holidays they're like the better ones, you know? Like, they're the ones I actually end up looking forward to more than like, you know, the ones where there's a lot more going on. You know, I still love like Christmas and stuff, but like, oh, uh, there's just something about like the more low maintenance holidays where, you know, you celebrate and you do certain things, but like, it's not as intense with traditions and feeling like you have so much to do. To get this magenta shade, I think I'm gonna have to play with raspberry and cherry cherry wet so that's cherry wet that's raspberry I just really really like the raspberry shade I'm kind of being like drawn to it but I'm like it's not as like that viva and <laughs> like vibrant magenta as wet cherry or cherry wet so I'm gonna go into cherry wet I think next I don't know you know what I think I'm gonna go into bubblegum next and just kind of build up the pinks I'm just gonna go kind of light with this one um hopefully that's the case but just going very light with a fluffy brush. I just tapped into it once, but kind of just, so there's a little bit of a transition of this maybe peeping out a little bit. So it's not as intense. It's gonna be intense, but you get what I'm saying. But my Valentine um, conversation heart bath bombs are gonna be back in the shop on Bubbly. If you guys wanna check them out, 
Um, they are some of my favorite to do because I just think they're so freaking cute. Um, they're literally like the heart conversation hearts that have like XOXO or Be Mine or whatever. And um, there's six total, but they all have different scents. So there's kind of like a variety for everyone. I know that, you know, some people are going to be like, oh, I really want the XOXO one and it's pink, but the scent is strawberry champagne. So it's like, it's... It's a fruity, but it's sultry at the same time that I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But if you like more sweet and fruity, you can get Be Mine, which is the purple one. And it has the scent of acai berry. It's so good. It's like my favorite, I think. I don't know. There's so many good ones, but it's up there. It's so good. Um, then there's Honey and Shea, which is more so, again, kind of that sultry moment, but like just kind of, I don't know, just feminine, but like it kind of also smells like comforting and like bougie at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's the yellow BFF one. So it's like perfect for like a girlfriend. If you want to go really sultry, you have Amber Romance, which is the bay. It's orange, and it says bay. It's so cute, um, and it's just kind of like a take on, like, today's, I guess, slang for... I know bay's been around for a while, but that is, like, the whole gist of it. It's not, like, the traditional um, conversation hearts, um, but there is also... Text Me, which is a little flirty. It's my green one, and it has like a fruity, I think almost like green apple fruity, but not in a weird way. Like, it's hard to explain, but if you like fruity scents that are not too, too sweet, I think you'll like that one over the acai berry. And, of course, we have to have the Revenge F.U. heart. For the people who maybe are a little bit bitter, but you still want to pamper yourself for Valentine's Day, I've got you covered with our blue one. And, yeah, just says F.U. on it. And it smells like candy. Like, it just smells like straight-up candy. It's so good. But I love bringing the Conversation Hearts back every year. I really want to end up turning them into whip soap, but... I've had a lot of changes going on in the shop lately with trying to figure out um, different things on like the business side of it that I have not had time to focus in on it. So fingers crossed, maybe next year. I'm gonna go into Cherry Wet now and work that in my crease. But yeah, that's what I've been really busy working with is like behind the scenes of bubbly and um, other things that I work on that are not tec technically like my channel and, you know, stuff like that. But I'm also been trying to have some me time so that I can um, do a lot of reading because I have a lot. I My gosh, you guys, I've been planning out this year's reading plans and goals since last November. And I am still going to film a video on it. Um, I just needed more time. I've been working on my like my journal. It's kind of it's more so like a reading journal now, but it still also is like a creative like scrapbook style journal. But I really want to have more of it put together for like the goals I'm gonna be going through throughout the year in it before I do that video. So yeah, um, uh, realistically, I wanted it to be posted in January, filmed and posted in January, but. It is what it is. I want more of it done before I want to post it. So um, it still is coming hopefully this month so that we're not three months into the year and I'm like, here's my plans for the year. But I still am at the same time multitasking and working on those plans. And yeah, a lot of them is reading this year. I still am enjoying doing makeup. I love doing makeup and I love sharing it, but I definitely wanted to bring something more to my channel. I feel like a lot of people are doing that these days. And I know I've talked about it in past videos of just like wanting to show more of myself than just the makeup side of things. And where I feel like I share a lot of myself makeup wise on my Allie Brienne Instagram. It's just very makeup based. Um, I have my lifestyle one that I am able to just share all the hobbies and stuff that I do. So it's kind of nice that my channel has become more of like a crossover of the two and not just makeup. And yeah, it's been really nice. And I get so excited to not only brainstorm new ideas and concepts that have to do with makeup or books, but also being able to film different things and 
honestly, I don't feel like I'm in a rut anymore because you know, if I'm in a rut with makeup, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? We're gonna do something with books today. Or if I'm in a rut with books, I'm like, okay, well, let's just film a makeup video that I've been putting off for a little bit. So yeah, it's been not only a nice change, but just like, I think what I was really needing. Okay, we're definitely pulling very pink. So I actually think Bring and Raspberry is going to be perfect for this look. I'm gonna take it on this angled brush and I apologize if you hear kids. We're currently snowed in once again, making do with what I have and just rolling with it, but they kind of get a little stir crazy and loud and it, it gets hard to really like focus in on content like this and recording my podcast has, or either one of my podcasts doing another Hella Spooky. It's been super, super challenging because we've had either snow days where we're snowed in or the kids have been sick. We just got over, they had like a cold that turned to like sinus infections and then they had ear infections on top of that, which was just awful. So I am, or I have been planning out my next caffeine and crime episodes for my podcast and also some hella spooky content um, for new episodes of those. Uh, it just hasn't happened yet, you guys, because for those, I, since they're both go on podcast platforms, I like to have more of that like controlled environment where it's a lot quieter and I'm not getting that right now. So yeah, expect more of those. I am working on some, but um, those take a lot of work, not just the filming and recording, but really the research and notes and everything that I do to get into each of those episodes. It's a little insane how much it goes into just one episode. I think I'm getting somewhere. This is just very pink still. And honestly, I don't think the shirt is helping make it look more magenta. <laughs> um, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, I think I might take and what over here. Um, instead of this like vibrant pink one, I think I'm going to take this metallic because I think it'll make it pull a little bit more magenta. I'm just going to take, oh, it's so pigmented, this in like the inner corner part to hopefully pull even more magenta. That's the plan. All right, let's finish up some of the face. I'm actually trying out the Anastasia uh, concealer today and I'm liking it so far. I think it's really pretty. Um, I am creasing just a little bit because I put it on before I went into my eyeshadow. So I actually think I'm going to put on a little bit more of it. Um, I, I have noticed like the smallest amount is like perfect. But I'm gonna blend this out just like I normally would before going into the other cream products I'm going to be wearing today. I'm currently writing a blog or typing out a blog on these She Glam products. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use them today because I want, it's been a minute. I wanted to do a blog on them for a while because I was so impressed. But since it's been a minute since I've tried them, I was like, I'm going to try them out today before I finish that up. I know this looks so ashy. It kind of is. I do kind of wish it was, a, the lightest one was a little warmer. I've seen that they have new shades though, so maybe they have new contour shades. I'm not sure. I need to look it up, but the formula is pretty forgiving as far as just like kind of blending out and still looking pretty contoured, but not too harsh since it's so gray. And the blush is just the same way. It's so pigmented, but as you blend, it's so forgiving. For highlighter, I just want to go really minimal today, so I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury. Um, a flawless filter or Hollywood flawless filter, whatever it's called. Um, I just like using it sometimes on my high points just to give a little bit of a sheen, but nothing too crazy. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take some powder before this concealer starts creasing on me again, because I do not want that. Into my Ciate watermelon burst. But yeah, not to be dramatic, but it, honestly, if it wasn't for books right now, I would be going so stir-crazy with being snowed in again. 
it is nice because the boys have not been feeling well and so all the snow days are not actually missing school days because of the snow days but it still gets a little hectic and crazy around here and escaping reality a little bit and jumping into a book has been nice but you guys, I'm going to be reading a lot of rom-coms, um, romance, that vibe. I, I've been reading all of it. <laughs> um, some of it I've already been working on. And I mean, one of the books that's going to be literally mentioned in one of these videos I read back in November. So I've been working on some different romances, trying to put them in here and there um, in between all of my other reads when I can so that maybe um February wouldn't be so full on for me but I've still fallen behind on like the really unrealistic goal that I had set for myself. Let's just say I'm gonna be reading a lot of different romance books that were really popular last year um or even different romance series um that people really like. I've been realizing that a lot of my Jeffree Star, like the little mini velour look lipsticks are just like drying out on me and it's so sad. I'm gonna have to start throwing away a lot of them. All right, what do we think? I'm torn because I feel like maybe if I put a little bit of pink on the lower lash line, like the top will look more magenta. Back into bubble gum and just run that along the lower lash line. I don't really know if this is helping. Yeah, I don't know how much that helped. This is the finished look. Hopefully it pulls more magenta for you guys. I was kind of hoping, I'm like, you know what? If I wear a pink shirt, it'll also help the eye look pull like more reddish, more magenta. But I think it did it opposite. <laughs> Hopefully it picks up okay for you guys on camera. But I did use pretty magenta shades. And I don't know, I just think the whole idea of each year having a color it's just so cool. I've been doing like my mood boards for the past couple of years for like the month and it's just kind of like what my vibe is and it's so much fun to look back on. And for January for me this year, um, I was kind of feeling more like minty vibes, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Maybe magenta will be like the mood for February. Maybe I need to try to make that my mood board to kind of pull in a little bit more of that magenta vibe for the year. We will see. But I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that this year has been great to you so far. Anyways, we've made it through a month, which is just crazy. Like, I feel like usually January's are so long, but I don't know, for me, it just really flew by this year and it's, it's a little scary. But like I said, expect more makeup looks, um, more book content coming soon. If you love any type of romance, rom-coms, anything like that, um, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of it. And I'm hoping that I cover different areas of romance so that maybe your favorite one or your favorite type is covered and you kind of get to see my thoughts on it. Or maybe you'll even be like, hmm, maybe I'll watch just for recommendations to see um, if any of our reading kind of aligns and what we like in that type of ordeal because I'm a lot pickier with romance than I am with thriller and mystery and stuff like that. I... Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit of a hard critic when it comes to romance. I I sometimes roast and I try to be really respectful and nice, but <laughs> oh, some of the stuff I've read. But thank you guys again for hanging out with me um, for this little get ready with me, chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I honestly thought I had more to talk about, but I guess that's it coming from somebody who's just been like, pretty much in their house all of January from sickness to being snowed in. So it is what it is. This is the most I can give you guys. <laughs> but stay tuned, more content is coming. I plan on doing more makeup in February. I want more makeup, even if it has to do with books. If you guys missed uh, one of my last videos, I did five makeup looks and I reviewed five books at the same time. So kind of a little bit of a spin and twist of putting the books and the makeup together. Check it out. Um, it was not romance. It was like horror, thriller, mystery vibes, but I am working on a romance one for you guys. So stay tuned for that. 
I also have been filming little parts here and there of my the next room transformation, but honestly, I just haven't done enough that I feel like is good enough for a video yet. So when I get to that point, that will be coming as well. And I need to do a makeup declutter. There, there's a lot of plans for the upcoming months. So just stay tuned. I hope that you guys like this video and thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you're new, hit subscribe and um, stay for all the craziness that's about to be this year. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you in my next video. God, I didn't ever mean to say it, so you got me in my feelings. I'm so forgot or correct and I've been doing fine. Except the stabbing pain up in my chest and I'm just, 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 just out of ring cams on.